So we hear that NXP and hi, so who are you? Uh, my name is Danny Watson, I'm from the IoT Solutions team. So um, here it says the world's first and only MCU solution with Alexa built in, is that true? That is true, yes. So um, what does it mean to have Alexa built in in an MCU? Basically, we do not need an external DSP. Uh, everything's done on the Cortex M7. So because of the high power 600 megahertz, we're able to do all the audio processing from beamforming, noise suppression and echo cancellation, also the wake word, and also the PDM to PCM decimation of three microphones. Is it as good as a DSP? It's as good. It's been uh, qualified on the Amazon website, which you can go onto the development kits, and it's uh, uh, certified for Farfield. Does the NXP do DSPs too? Uh, it's included in the actual parts as well. Ah, so there's the DSP on the on the MCU SOC or no? The, there's the, the, the DSP is running on the MCU itself. So there is a DSP? Yes. yes. Uh, so, um, so that means around here you can do a bunch of voice commands? Yes, correct. So what, what would you do, for example? So for example, we're demonstrating like a smart home with IoT. So on this one you can say, Alexa, turn on the lights. What you'll notice is all of them woke up and what happens is in the cloud, ESP is done, so it focuses on a single beam and then controls the lights. So um, they're like in a mesh or something? Uh, basically, they're, they're synchronized in a single Alexa consumer account. Uh, so they all work together, uh, which means you can control various other things like uh, the stove as well. So uh, is it a big deal to put it on an MCU? It's a massive deal. The reason being is because you're able to cut the price of actually the actual hardware in half because you don't need DDR, you don't need EMMC, you don't need a PMIC. It's on a four-layer PCB, so the overall cost of the actual design is absolutely cut. Absolutely cut. Uh, so, for example, right here, we see a little board. Um, does, it, is, does it have your stuff in there? It has all our stuff in there, yes. Yeah, so so we, your, your chip is on the other side, right? Our chip is, uh, we've got a SOM on the back in the exact same yeah. size, uh, 30 millimeters. And uh, basically, uh, the Wi-Fi integrated, as well as a, a TFA-1994 audio class D amplifier. And uh, you have one there, one there, one there. Yep, correct. And uh, when you speak, they all listen, or what's happening? They all listen, and they're uh, they, I mean, quite loud, so you don't really hear the response, but they also have an integrated speaker membrane, so they can actually get the response as well. And they do internal uh, echo cancellation, everything? Correct, yes. Yeah. So when they actual speak, when the speaker is actually uh, out outputting, uh, it does an AEC, so it cancels out the actual speaker output, so you can still control it while music is playing. Uh, so, uh, what is this? So this is the uh, IDMX. Yes. This is the IDMX 8M Mini. Uh, this is basically demonstrating secure facial recognition and frictionless control. So rather than it actually saying the wake word, you can do facial recognition to detect that it's actually woken up, and then control it with Alexa. Ah, so there, you, you first you wake up with your face, and then you can Alexa. Otherwise, it doesn't listen. Correct. Yeah, it it will not listen. So if we actually press the the unlock button, nothing will happen because my face is not being actually recognized. Yeah. And then as soon as I put my face in front of it, Alexa, oh, cancel off. I don't need to say the wait word. So let's go back. Sorry, you can't say yes. So let's try that again. Yeah. yeah. So let's try that again. <laughs> What's the weather? The no time is usually defined as the system of those okay. sequential... Okay, yeah, you misunderstood yeah. me, but the whole point is that it only works and I don't actually have to say a wake word. It I did, just talk it to did it. explain what weather means. Yeah. yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah. Uh, so, um, who's going to adopt this? Everybody or...? Pretty much, we're targeting so many IoT devices. Like, it then now, it, our, uh, our customers, like washing machine, light switches, ovens, they're able to integrate voice without actually relying on an external part. They can integrate it by, by default. And uh, what kind of challenge was it to make this work? What did um, you do? So obviously you have to understand audio and you have to understand um, obviously all the beamforming. So integrating that IP to make sure it all works. Uh, and also to do it on a microcontroller is very, very difficult because one, it's never been done. And two, obviously the resources are more limited. So how do you do that? Are you part of the team that did that? I am part of the team, yeah. Uh, I'm one of the developers. Uh, and yeah, we've been in it since the beginning. And uh, yeah, it's you do it by sheer hard work. And uh, It's a hardcore yeah. MCU hacking. Pardon, sorry? It's a MCU hacking. MC, or, well, it's what, not quite hacking. Is it, it's like a... Is it, it's a new MCU. It is a. It is a it's been a. It's an MCU that's been out for a, about a year. Which um, one is it? It's the Cortex M. It's the Cortex M7. It's the RT106A, which is yeah. our part. So it's just the one that's been on the market, and you go and you uh, make it work. Yes, basically, yeah. But that's that's due to the enablement that the NXP do on our. It's on our really solutions. as good as any other solution. Correct. Yes. For sure. Yes. Like. Uh, 
tested and everything. It's all qualified. Like I said, you can go onto the Amazon Developer Kit website and you'll see this kit on the Amazon website as qualified. So how much for the MCU? Uh, the MCU, uh, I, I'm an engineer, so I don't have control of the pricing, so I don't $5 really. $5 or something? Uh, again, I, I'm an engineer, yeah. so I don't really control right. pricing. Cool, okay, thank you. Yeah, no worries, thanks.